So, uh, the camera decided to screw me over there, but I needed a break anyways. Need to fix the hair. But, regardless, so here we are once again. So what I'll be doing, first off, the, uh, flip share on my computer is, uh, screwing me over because apparently on December 21st, when the world was supposed to end, uh, Flipshare went down. So, I guess they assumed it was going to end, so they made final preparations, and, uh, that fell flat on its face. No, but honestly, I deleted too many videos, and this is what I get. So, if, it, if it's going to screw me over, then, then let it. You know, I can't make a movie anymore with this, so, I mean, heck, it is what it is. You know, let it. So... I'll upload this in separate parts if need be, and, uh, that'll be that. Just like if you, uh, have watched, if you haven't watched my famous, uh, Bad Drivers lecture yet, go ahead and watch it, and that was uploaded in three parts, approximately 20 minutes in length here, so, if the first part here was nine minutes, in such and such seconds, that's going to be 20-something minutes, such and such seconds, I'll be uh, almost half hour right there. So Red Soul Cups, I fill you up. Proceed to party. Proceed to party. <coughs> mm, lyrics can change. I suppose I probably butchered that right now, but... Red Soul Cup by Toby Keith. Everything in that song is completely true. There are a lot of things you could do with Red Soul Cups, including impaling them with an arrow shot from a bow, and blowing them to pieces using a shotgun. I do not intend to do that on camera with this red solo cup because it means a lot to me. So, that's what you get. You know what this is? Looks like a, t a Canadian two dollar coin, doesn't it? It doesn't. What this is is a religious coin that I just found laying there. So I mean, it's like one of those things you probably get in the mail when they're asking you for money. So I mean, it is what it is. What are these? What are these? All right, I got another snack food to talk about with you guys here. Natural Vines Strawberry Soft Licorice. Low fat, very low sodium, no preservatives. Here you are, here's the bag. Uh, serving size, nine pieces. Servings per container, about five. 150 calories. Uh, one gram of fat, etc., etc. 34 grams of carbohydrates. 18 grams of sugars, etc., etc. Let's read the back, because I have this nice little description, and then you can look at the uh, beautiful picture of the uh, strawberry licorice on the front. Connoisseurs know that a truly satisfying licorice, made from only the finest all-natural ingredients, is almost unheard of, until now. Made exclusively from all natural flavorings and colors, from natural food sources, natural vines, brand licorice has no preservatives and contains only high quality ingredients, as you would expect from a gourmet licorice. Our unique cooking process, combined with over five generations of dedication, delivers a licorice that is rich and complex in taste and has a, con and has a coveted soft texture, all in conveniently bite-sized pieces. For those passionate in the pursuit of ultimate licorice, Natural Vines brand licorice awaits you. www.naturalvineslicorice.com Made in the USA. Main ingredients include wheat flour, corn syrup, sugar, brown rice syrup, palm oil, malic acid, natural strawberry flavor, beet juice for natural color, glycin, and licorice extract. Allergic information, contain Allergic information contains wheat. All right, thanks. American Licorice Company, Consumer Affairs Group. I will uh, conceal the address because I don't want any of you going over and killing the guys. They're, they're twinky. All right, go on the side. So, 
No, I have to eat nine pieces because that's what the package says. One, two, three, four. But there were bigger. Four. Five. Six. All right, what do you say with this one? Is this one or two pieces? They're stuck together. This one's not coming off. Looks like two, but they're stuck in one. All right, now it's two. Three, six, eight, nine. Three, six, nine. Three times three times three is nine. So here they are. They are quite small. I will, I will admit that. It looks pretty soft, too, so let's try it out. I'll tell you that it's a little chill, uh, chewy, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. A little sticky too, but other than that, it's good. Distinct sweet strawberry flavor. Has a little hole in the middle that one could breathe through. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat this. All in all, though, a very delicious red, soft, chewy licorice. Decent, though. Strawberry flavor, not cherry. My apologies there. Yes, very good flavor, though. Chewy, but it has a good flavor. It's pretty sweet. It's not bad. I'd recommend this to you. And they are bite-sized pieces. Excuse you. Alright, I'm doing nothing here, so I'm just going to clear out this segment by eating two at a time. These two I shall save. For when I get hungry again. Do you know what this badly mangled package is? I doubt you do. Look at the cover. You didn't see it. Do you know what it is now? Angry Birds Fruit Snacks Gummies. It looks like somebody already dug into the package here. So, let's see. Angry Birds, the most popular, not the most popular, but it's a pretty popular cell phone game. Uh, let's see. So they decide to make little fruit snacks out of the birds and the pigs. So uh, let's see this. Let's see what they have to offer. Got them in cherry, lemon, raspberry, apple, strawberry, and grape. Looks like cherry's the uh, classic red one. Lemon's the fast one. And it's berries like the, uh, like the, uh, ah, I, I don't know these birds. I, don't know, I know green is the pig, um, strawberry, where's that? Strawberry is another bird, and grape is the, uh, the bomb. I don't know. 
I'm taking a guess here. I haven't played Angry Birds that much. My uh, father, though, he's he's good at it. He's been, like, for Angry Birds Space, he's ranked, like, top five in the world for that per day on the scores. Let's read the nutritional info, which I'll try to piece together here. Serving size, 13 pieces. Wow, more than the licorice, but I could understand that. 120 calories per this. Uh, no, no fats at all. That's good. 15 milligrams of sodium. Uh, 15 grams of sugar. Ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, white grape juice, concentrate, gelatin, acid, natural and artificial flavor. FDNC, red 40, yellow 5, yellow 6, blue 1, red 6. And Carnauba wax. As well, Angry Birds, fruit snacks, gummies. Uh, find them on uh, Facebook and Twitter and www.angrybirds.com. Angry Birds is a registered trademark of Rovio Entertainment Ltd. All rights reserved. Copyright 2009-2012. Rovio Entertainment Ltd. All rights reserved. So let's uh, dump out 13 of these guys here, alright? Make room, licorice. You got some friends coming in. One, two. Three, four. Five, six. Oh, it's getting low. It's getting low. I'm, I have to cut it short. So I'll keep it at eight, just like the licorice. Alright, that'll be the magic number tonight. Eight. So do we have all the colors listed? We should have six colors. Got the blue raspberry. Got the lemon. We have... Can't tell the difference between these two. One's darker, so one's lighter. So I'll say we got both cherry and strawberry. We have grape. And we have apple. So we got them all. So let's give it... Let's try each of these and see if they... Hold to the standard that's marked on the cover here. Shall we? Much softer than uh, the licorice. I have to say this so it's easier to get down. Apple check. Cherry check. Strawberry check. Could I have a time check? Don't give me that look. I need to know. Please. Tom check, homie. 13 minutes? Alright. I'm cutting it off in two minutes, so I will get up and shut it off. Right now I have blue raspberry. Check. Lemon has a very distinct flavor to it. Check, check, check. And last, but not least, grape. Save the best for last, they say, and that pertains true with grape. Much better than the classic grape cloth medicine flavor, I will admit that. So, I'd have to say they did a good job on that. You know, Flip, sure, you're taking too long, I'm closing you out, alright? I'm closing you, I just save the files individually. Get out of there. Out. Good. Oh, boy. I did a good job with these. Not bad. They're not even comparable to the licorice because honestly, two two different things. Those are fruit snacks. This is licorice. 
What can you do? Had to finish chewing here. The last item I have in my possession is even more varied than the licorice. And that's Cracker Jacks. Yes, Cracker Jacks. Absolutely classic here. And I haven't had one in like a couple years, so this is gonna be good. Cracker Jacks, the original caramel coated popcorn and peanuts. That looks healthy. Ugh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Peanuts may have settled to the bottom during shipping and handling. Alright. Nutrition facts. Serving size half a cup. Alright, I'll just have a handful. Servings per container 4.5, 120 calories. Total fat 2 grams, 3% of your daily value. 0 grams of cholesterol, 70 milligrams of sodium. Let's see, 15 grams of sugar. 2 grams of protein. Not that much in terms of vitamins, except for 4% uh, of iron. Ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, popcorn, peanuts, molasses, salt, corn, and or soybean oil, and soy le lechitin. Contains peanut and soy ingredients. Distributed on behalf of PepsiCo Incorporated, and manufactured for Frito-Lay Incorporated. Plano, Texas. That is all I can give to you at this moment www.crackerjack.com Cracker Jack, a delicious blend of caramel coated popcorn and peanuts has made Cracker Jack brand one of America's favorite snacks. Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'd rather go with Twinkies than Cracker Jacks, but I'll take what I can get. Cracker Jack brand has delivered great taste and prizes to millions of kids around the world, and now there are new surprises waiting for you. So open a bag and enjoy. Alright, and uh, yeah, we got uh, Sailor, uh, Jack, and Bingo. I guess they're like the little mascots, per se. Let's see what they got in here. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Fold and tear here. God, I'm not, I can't open this thing here. I can't, I'm gonna have to make a separate video for that. I have to leave you in suspense with this. My apologies. So Cracker Jacks, this is what they are. Practically pieces of popcorn coated in caramel. That's it. I haven't had one of these in years. I, I remember them being incredibly chewy and sticky, but that might have been wrong. Who knows? I was, I was younger back then. I wasn't even thinking practically, so let's try it out regardless. That took me by surprise. As soon as I had it, it basically like disintegrated in my mouth. It's like I put it in now, there's nothing in there. That's the weirdest thing. So weird texture wise. I really do like the caramel flavor though. Very good. It's like popcorn, but without the salt and butter, it's just much more flavorful and sweeter. It's just so weird though, as when the saliva in your mouth comes in contact with the... I dropped one. So now I can't eat it. So if they're a poor rejected little licorice piece here. But anyways, where was I? When the saliva in your mouth comes in contact with the Cracker Jack itself, it, I guess, absorbs it and it disintegrates. It becomes much smaller and just the weirdest thing. That 
and save from land on the plate. One thing I have noticed with this, this is one of like the subconscious eating foods. We're basically sitting in there, and you just don't even realize you're eating it, you know? It's just like you reach in, you grab it, put it in your mouth, and you go for the next one. Good technique on their part. And it's something about the caramel that's on them also. That gives them like a sweeter flavor. It's just so compelling and it makes you want to have another one. Which is exactly what I'm doing. And before you know it, the bag's gone, so I'm getting rid of it. That's why I have a Monster Energy drink on hand. Always have to have something to wash it down. Remember that. Cardinal rule when eating snack foods like such. Always have to have something in there to wash it down. Always. No exceptions, no excuses. Be it water or Monster Energy drink. Anything. Gotta wash it down with something. Remember that when you're eating any of this stuff next time. Oh, that doesn't pertain to Twinkies, because I don't make them anymore. As of now. As of, uh, December 29th, 2012, Saturday at 12.04 a.m. So, that's where it stands. So, as my closure to this, uh, completely pointless lecture that's been a waste of your time and mine, although I enjoy doing this, I shall eat this piece of licorice for you. That's all I have to offer for you today. This was a post-Christmas lecture, in which I talked about random snack foods and other topics. So, I consider this to be a waste of time, but I'm putting it up anyways because I like doing stuff like this. So, that's it. Oh, by the way, if any of you want to know, uh, for Christmas I got eight dress shirts, four whites, a tan, like a cream colored, I guess, a black shirt, a gray shirt, and a blue striped shirt. All very good. I got six neckties also. One of the new ones I am wearing right now. And I also got a bow tie. It's a uh, dark blue with white polka dots, and it's a diamond tip bow tie. I always like those, so I'll wear it. Uh, next time I'm on the camera. So, that's that. Alright then, this is, I guess, the Idle Mind. Or at least the report of the week here. And that ends this, uh, random talk. More like a late night monologue that I've been doing here the entire time. But, that's that. So that concludes this little session here. The current time is 12 to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll get back to you all later. Take care, and I'll see you next week.